Let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Alright, we gotta speak to Otto. Keep falling back, keep going out here. Thinking it's gonna lead to where I need to go. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the balcony for aesthetics, but <laughs> I've gone to that balcony because I'm like, oh, the mark is in that direction, and then I gotta go out this way. We keep getting swindled by that balcony. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's note. Gov gave you the news, then. We're leaving for Rosalith, but not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmex to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. I think I'm ready. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Ah, uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? <laughs> We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. That's why that guy has a seat What's at the, the table. There? Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're big brain to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kuka. This guy, Thanos. Economic advisor to the Dalmechian government to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. Because <laughs> he thinks so Clive has said. Advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. And there's the whole thing with Mom, which, man, I hope she gets her comeuppance. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, 
It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. I thought for a sec we were going to say the Across sky. The northern border near Phoenix Gate. Then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh. Will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Yeah, literally an eye for an eye. <laughs> the guy lost his eye. Is this this town? I swear if it's this town again. Town. Can't catch a break. It's been set on fire. It's been massacred. Just. Fortify the castle gates at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. this for one man they didn't have to go so far if you keep your wits about you I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way be careful likewise don't do anything I wouldn't do Curious as to how this guy gets around. <laughs> he seems to sneak in no matter what. Like, does he have a power or something? Or is it just, like... Wearing armor that's stealth plus four. Yep. It's like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. I don't understand why there's some scenarios where you can't pet the dog. This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Why do I do this? Uh, we can get through here. I mean, he's, that's the thing. He's doing it out of spite. 
because of our uh, backstab here. It's not like it's random. Just getting revenge. Wait, who's the protector? Who's the protector? You are. Down. This one. never believe that if, if I saw footage of this and you tell me it's a Final Fantasy game I would not believe it gentlemen <laughs> you won't Someone's protecting. Say. Wasn't miss. Who's casting that? You're the one doing it. There we go. Why is this one so tanky? I guess it's like a mini boss. Because it's got a stagger meter. Why is it not doing that much damage? Jeez.
Get over here. Okay, where's the mage? There you are. Dead. Doggo's got this. I feel like I haven't swapped amulets in a while. Increase pile drive damage. Scarlet cyclone damage by I feel like it doesn't matter. I guess pick a skill and then it increases its damage. He's here. Get him. I'm fine with the cyclone being the damage increase one. Guy wall is down. Where's the mage? That. love seeing the dog do the cartwheel thing every time it gets me. Set her loose. Huh? What now? Okay. They have a curl. It's uh it's like a big cat with horns. Attack! Ready? What do you think? Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> what is this thing? It looks like it has. It's like sword sword whip. Cool-looking creature. Damn it, I missed. Gotcha. I am scratching its belly. <laughs> belly scratch. Something. We 
need to stop it. Whatever it takes. Go. Uh-oh. It's down. Then let's make this count. Electric whip sword cat. <laughs> That's what this is. Belly scratch. Ah, shit. That was bad. There we go. There we go. Cool enemy design, though. Jill! We meet at last, Sid. <laughs> or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard! <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Oh, shit. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. That's a great realization. Ah, fuck. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck is right. Now, on to the festivity. Shit, doggo. They didn't get the dog. Uh, that's just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. Oh shit. Jeez. Where do you want me? That axe is like the size of Clive. <laughs> Fucking hell. You bring the prisoner. That's uh that's a bit of overkill. Yeah. 
ass no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> Wish she'd get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> How does he keep getting into places? <laughs> Seriously. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <sighs> We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Ah. Nearly forgot. Hold on. Mr. Reliable. Get to the courtyard. I'm not sure how he just keeps sneaking into places. But it's not surprising. This whole thing is, you know, he lost Backstabia. So now he wants us to lose Jill. Don't you let her die. In all honesty, she's probably going to die anyway. Just given the dark tone of this game. I got the feeling he's... It's just going to be this... This thing where... No one survives. I don't know. Doggo! Fucking hell, the size of that axe. I oh, know the dog is definitely magical. Like, look at this. It's a bloody wolf. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> Lightning. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That explains a lot. This is why the dog can heal. Jill, can you stand? What what did Toggle become? Something awoke within him, transforming Toggle into something akin to an icon. Okay. Come, Lord Rosfield. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Jeez. Ascended toggle. That includes you, toggle. So, I mean, this this makes sense. This is now this now explains why the dog is alive after like what twenty years, <laughs> and why the dog could heal. Would have should have been a red flag for hmm. This is more than a dog. 
I've got, I did not, I did not think it would be like magical dog, like to this extent. You know what? Now that we've seen what's happened to the dog, I, it wouldn't surprise me if Gav has some something going on as well. Because how can he sneak into all these places? He, he probably has something magical as well. default to fire. Is it time to fight Thanos yet? No. Cutting it close, to say the least. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. I promise you, Sid. He'll die by my hand. Just making sure there's nothing else. Kuka. You're late. Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. Probably has one more plot twist. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. 
A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. It's gonna break it. Yep. Tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. No, he didn't. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. Ooh. You. You. You killed her. I did. Then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seemed I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. Hear me, Rosfield. You will pay. For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my plans! And what have you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity and no mercy. Now die! Okay. Well, we won't have Doggo heal in this, so I gotta rely on potions. But he's not in his giant form, so I guess we'll see. There's probably a phase two to this. <laughs> this music, though. Man, 
Okay, just standard potion. It is not doing a whole lot. I used the stone skin, skin potion for the first time. I've never used that potion. This probably warrants it. You will die by my hand, Rosfield. My hatred for you is unending. When you will then, let this house be your grave. Now he gets pissed. Rocks, yeah. Oh, this camera, jeez. Wait for the stagger and then use the thing. Is quake attacks, jeez. Nice try. Nice try. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Back up, please. These are the sponge.
Oh fuck, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh. <laughs> I almost ate shit. Whoa, whoa. All right, get him. None of my, none of my powers are up. I got cut. But I imagine he's going to turn into that giant thing. Like, this is probably just phase one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Holy crap. Well. gonna become gigantic, isn't he? Nope. We're just stealing his power. <laughs> no, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. Jeez. gonna try and summon his power but it just doesn't work. Wait, who's this? There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! What the hell is that? Another time, Mythos. Oh no. He's using that name. So. Is he just gonna be permanently like that? Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. No, okay, he's he's transforming back. 
Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. Oh no. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. At this point, Clive is Mega Man. <laughs> just... If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kupka later, shall we? I, I mean, Kupka's gonna need a hand or two to do anything. There's <laughs> a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Ah, uh, dear. So, I guess we have the power of Earth now. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Bolts from the blue. The power of Earth. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon, Titan's essence. 
the shield. Okay. Interesting. Oh, but it doesn't come up here. Huh. That's not where I was expecting it to unlock. I was expecting it to go on this side. Okay. Well. I don't think I'll get to fill up most of these. I should not spread myself thin, like it's just gonna take forever. So I'm gonna focus on fire abilities. I don't even know how to trigger this ability. Anyway. Otter. Is now a good time? Mm. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Who? Mm, just... Mid. Mid at all, Telemon. Student of engineering at the University of Canva. She is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. No. First time we're seeing her, I think. Your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria, all the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Very British. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. Ta. Uh. Little. A storm, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. You know, Mid, the character has been here the whole time. 
Oh man. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mate. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mate, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. That is some really long hair. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If sick could see you now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Okay. <laughs> Fetch quest it is. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Sid's gonna chop off Cooker's head this time. You were born in Rosalith. Well, I chopped off his arms. It's probably enough. How's it coming along? Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. What's she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. I almost went past it. Was wondering where you'd got to. Mids back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. All right. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Jill, white as a sheet. Yeah, I mean, she is getting more and more ill. The little Wait, where is this carpenter? Oh. Been up to their old tricks again. Hold on. Let's see, I've gone the wrong way. I've... Oh. This game needed a mini-map. <laughs> okay. Oh, elevator. Duh. Do with a good oil in this, 
Should be enough to... How do, Master Sid? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. So we have to go get him. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. <laughs> okay. Martha's Rest. I wonder what she's going to do. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but I swear we haven't seen this character before. <laughs> it's just so random. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there, then. Wait, is it quicker to fast travel? Mm, yeah, I suppose. Just making sure I'm going in the right direction. Yep. I mean, I appreciate this feature, but sometimes it's not completely clear, like the lay of the land. It just kind of points you in the direction. 90% of the time it's fine. It does enough, but then other times it's like, oh crap. I have to like wrap around to actually get over there. Right now, I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> I've gone too far. There he is. Hi. Oh, I've been the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And? If Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Well. 
Well, that there is Cressida. My, of course, was more uh, sarcastic than sincere. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. <laughs> it's a, uh... Alright, well, we have Earth now. Oh, no, so Earth is automatic. It's not even something I can toggle to, it's like, just innate. Okay. So it's not like the other ones. Maybe because it said partial. Toggle's not doing super doggo either. I don't think we'll ever see Earth abilities because it's required. That you do like a perfect parry. Which, eh, yeah. Maybe accidentally I might do one. Holy crap, this thing's aggressive. There we go. Yeah, I'll probably not be able to level up any of the Earth abilities. I should do it. I'm gonna stick to fire and then just sure go a little bit of electric ability. But otherwise, it's just I don't know what they expect you to do, like grind for hours fighting random stuff. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Because even the side quest didn't really give that much. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. <laughs> that should take care of Mid's little list. Turn her head back before she thinks of anything else. One sec. Yeah, I wonder what she's gonna build. The 
Scotlands have been up to their old tricks. I missed the old base. The old base was easier to navigate. Placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait! See how Jill's faring. Yeah. I'm guessing she's getting checked again to see how her condition is progressing. Ah, Clive. Taya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. <laughs> yeah, what does Doggo become? So Where what is Toggle? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. <laughs> that beard. I'm sorry. That Torgal may be known in the but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. Oh man. One of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Oh. Fenrir the Frostwolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a Frostwolf, it had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Yeah. The beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, 
I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Excuse me, what? <laughs> what? There you are. Jeez. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. Uh, so we can get to work. I shall be a moment. Wow, <laughs> that's like Pokemon style cutscene right there. Fade to black sound effects. Structure done. I'm not going to make fun of it because the animation's great here. It is brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. I feel like the characters' movements don't match the voice. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. What does what does she do? I'll pay you back. I promise. Maybe it's just in general for the base and not for me. I think I'll wait till mid so It's so bad with directions. I may as well have green hair and three swords. Where am I going? Okay, jeez. Uh, this game really needed a minimap. Left, then right. the hunt for Kupka. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Oh, I thought I needed to move. Nope. She's just standing there quietly. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. Jeez. There's nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> That is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. Guest? guest. Trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> oh, Uncle. Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tub a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here!
Meanwhile, twin side at the Holy Empire, the seat of the Imperial Court. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Um, dude, that is just no, <laughs> so creepy. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. I mean, the kid. Just have to have the they kind of hinted that has some some powers, so. Kid overly attached to mother having creepy powers checks out. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan. Nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question that look. precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He's been he disarmed. Front, even were the Dalmecs <laughs> to send for him, he would not Jeez. arrive in time. Uh... As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Hmm. Dion? Yes, sir. flower The hell is he doing? Prepare for battle. But sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. There's some friction there. May Gregor forgive you. What 
do the astrologers all go? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Jeez. So Annabella's tales were true. Uh, that's... Disappoint me, Dion. <laughs> Come up and that's what I want for her. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. The little ones have been up to their old tricks My dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? Jeez. 2,000? <laughs> Triple ponytail. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian... Yeah, I may have had a hand or two in it. ...reports of the Royalists' movements, <laughs> that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen. Ah, uh, I'm not going to stop those jokes. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. Hmm. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, 
but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have tightened back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. I mean, and you the guy was. <laughs> To find Kupka, you have merely to follow it's the pretty injured. trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Bid's finished outfit and a little work. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. He's probably going to destroy the Mother Crystal. I promise. The Lanzar and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Okay. The Velcro does it. Any new lore? Well, we got more on him. Um, and yeah, so he sends his forces to ransack Rosalith, capital of Rosaria, and Clive's former home, in hopes of drawing him out. Clive takes up the offer and is able to best Kupka in battle, cutting off his hands in the process. But before Clive can deal the finishing blow, the helpless Hugo is spirited away by a mysterious man from Walud. Uncle Byron, the younger brother of the late Archduke Elwyn and Warden of Port Isolde. After the duchy was incorporated into the Empire and Byron stripped of his titles, he shut himself away in his manor and gladly volunteered every gill of the onerous taxes and tariffs with which he was newly burdened, all to avoid drawing the Empire's ire and to keep their attentions from his support for the Guardians of the Flame. 
But see, look at how old he looks compared to Annabella. Just, he's aged, she hasn't. And this is the younger brother. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Riddle of the Sands. Does he fight? I guess we'll see. Probably not. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. <laughs> Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Jeez, this seems like it's a while away. I mean, it would be nice to ride those things <laughs> for transport. Have to run everywhere. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? I have a feeling something's going to happen to Uncle. Hmm. Look there. Those are Ashen Steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. And ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? <laughs> House Sunday? Uh, yeah, just more housework and then just playing games. 
it's cold, so it's just stayed indoors. Hmm. Oh man, he's getting worse. Well, to miss, uh, not a whole lot. Your Grace, it is plain you are went to fight Kupka. You would only let me take you to someone who and we cut off his hands Ills. in the fight, and then some mysterious dude took him away. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. We have basic earth powers. That's about it. Oh, and the doggo was transformed. It's like... The dog is a magical dog, basically. To no surprise. There's Shiva's guardian. Because Jill was in danger. So, it awoke. So that explains why it's been alive for 20 plus years. And also... <laughs> can heal and do all that other shit. So it has like an ice form now. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. So I'm just trying to find Kupka right now. Back to the fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Because he's injured. Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim. Oh, and Mom is like causing friction with the empire she's in. Because of course she is. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Now we're hanging out with our uncle. Uncle? Sorry. Is she gonna say it? Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. How about she doesn't say why? Well, yeah, and I mean, her kid's still in her lap. You know, at the same time, the same thing we saw last time. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, lad. But we've got business Just in camera that can't. Lots of nope on that one. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Friend. <laughs> it's not letting the food go to waste. Hmm. I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Stay back. Wait, the DS didn't have the end cutscene after the credits, didn't it? Maybe there's something I missed out on. I don't know. Like 
It was nothing crazy, just a little sand. Okay. I wonder why that was. Trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> You're up to Majora's now. <laughs> I have no recollection of how that went. I, there was only, there was only one thing I remember from it that I, that I found hilarious was just um, when the Zora the Zora thing happened. It wasn't that long ago. Um, yeah, but I'm fine. I, I feel like it's only been this year that I feel normal. Like just the pandemic was a bitch. It's like, yeah. What's going on here? It's responding. I don't know what. I don't know why his brother doesn't come and talk to him. That's the part that I, I'm. I, I'm sure they'll reveal it, but. Lots of quarantine. Most lockdown city in the world. <laughs> Just, that's what I had to go through. Six lockdowns, the longest one lasting five and a half months. What is it now? Just, yeah. It does things to you. It means nothing. Let's go. But, you know, the whole thing was that, in terms of cases, Australia did pretty well. Like, at one point we got our cases back down to zero. Doesn't he say hi? I don't. <laughs> well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The rulers said it themselves. Never had Rona, right? No, I haven't. Just somehow. And I've been in the room with people, like right next to people that have had it. The thing is, it could be a case that I'm just one of those people that. At worst, they get asymptomatic. Like, maybe I have had it, but it's just not the extreme version. Or it comes up on a test, because that is possible. I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Hmm. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. I'm not gonna lie, it sucked having it, but then you got a two-week vacation from the kids. <laughs> yeah. 
It depends how severe it hits you. Some people it, it is more severe than others. Like, I know people that just it felt like a cold term. I know others were like muscle ache and they couldn't move at all and just dizziness. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Are we really going to get the information just with two? The brain fog was the worst. I've heard. Can't you see I can't this? imagine how that feels like. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Way to remain in inconspicuous. I don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The briar's kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Right. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Gonna be completely wrong. Let's, Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Uh, uncle's gonna be completely wrong. Hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your door. Excuse me, are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Hmm. Seems legit. <laughs> what could go wrong? Trust him. Only as far as I think he... Trusts us, yeah. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Okay. I mean, when someone opens up with that kind of attack... I don't know. Might be best to weigh your options. Shame that Toggle doesn't transform on command. That'd be cool. Over here. 
Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is... Oh jeez, his lips weren't moving. <laughs> that first part of that sentence. I was like, who's talking? You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty. That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Uh, yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. I mean, it's been pretty good so far. This is like the first slip up I've seen. To a silken soft, the most fragrant herbs, the finest fabric. Is this the place? Blue Wars Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. I wonder if it's just the captured town. Just for sanity's sake, I did a quick reset. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy, 
Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have the my fuck does that, What the fuck does that even mean? I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them. Damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. See, he rolled his R's and he's British. A riddle. This is Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble. Your tongue is broken. I don't know. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Looks like equal distance. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well... Thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. A deposit. Light meat and dark. Fresh from the grill. You wouldn't believe how much he gave me. What? What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing. I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. I don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets <laughs> deeper than Zemeckis <laughs> and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. Probably not. Back at the inn by now. My carpets have fried What was all that crashing and banging about before? Why is the tavern shut? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you Oops. want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who is with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But what? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Upstairs, but what? <laughs> what? Upstairs, but... Upstairs, but what? Upstairs, but he's naked. Upstairs, but he's dead. Upstairs, but he's, uh... With, uh, the locals. Like, what? That's 
a weird way to end a sentence. Doesn't. I guess we just have to find them. Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. What? How are you now? Am I losing it? a mess of blood soaked splinters thanks to you the least you can do is let us clean up in peace i told the guard those soldiers it doesn't rotate the camera to where he is well there okay will this suffice as a deposit by the sense that's Cut her onto the star. Alright, no worries. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. Alright. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? What is he doing indeed? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. Hmm. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes well, to show fighting. One should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. They will turn sour. Of course. Men of the wrong. Treasure. A thousand gill for a measly bunch. How do we get over there? Jeez. That is so deceiving. <laughs> it's pointing that way. Needed to a silken Take a sniff. Yeah, yeah. cloud with a crust. Lord Kupka has several similar pieces in his collection. Ugh. <sighs> 
I can't jump that way. Shit, this is the wrong way. <sighs> yeah, mini map would have been useful. I need to go out in the sex set over here. There we go. Okay, now I can follow the marker. Next time I'm at base, I need to look at upgrading gear. them ambush I'll take it from here well you know oh they've got like a stockpile I was beginning to think you weren't coming my lord You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents? That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad. This will be Minecraft in 2014. I don't know the reference. Don't really play Minecraft. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where. Maybe because it's, it's like past midnight here, but I, I'm just not getting it. <laughs> Did you get all that? It's just one of those things that once you try to explain a joke, it's like difficult to make it funny. My lord. But also, I'm tired, so maybe it just didn't land. Double crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. Yet, Uncle. 
Wait, cure who? Where up? Oh, where's the mage? There, over that, over that, over that. I'll just slice my way through him. What? Another one? Where? Is that it? Is anyone else gonna heal? Kill. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice, don't you? Greybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. I saw who makes us do one more thing. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Sometime later. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, <laughs> Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Another pin. I saw at this point, there'd be like 20 of them stuck. The man who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. 
It'd be like when you go to a convention and you just get pins to put on your bag. Feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest complete. I was expecting him to be, like, just annoying and ask for more stuff. Oh. Hold on. Have to go out the southern gate. Okay. This is the northern gate. So turn around. Is it true what I'm here? <laughs> the finest I like minimalism, I do. From the oven. But there have been a couple of times like I just I need a mini map. Particularly where this is pointing, it's just like you'd think you'd have to go that way. Lubal was true to his word. We should get going soon. Oh damn, this looks different. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Telmeki and Walut are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. What can he even do at this point? <laughs> he has no hands. He's unarmed. Unhanded. Drake's fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on?
the jaw obelisk. Man, the scenery in this game looks so good. There it is, Drake's Fang. Not as colourful as uh, the other ones. Cuckoo will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. Apologize? For what? After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. No. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. <laughs> Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance but was kindled by my father you would see me follow in his footsteps and that is exactly what I mean to do not by ruling Rosaria but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torval. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. Solo, huh? Okay, that looks more visually impressive. Wait a 
has he got new hands? What's going on? Oh, the, the prosthetics. shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! How, with no hands? How would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Who is this guy? Lord Harbert. Lord Commander of the Kingdom of Elude's armies, Harbert is known to many as the Constant Knight. By reason of his unchangingly icy demeanor and his unwavering loyalty to his liege, indeed he appears to command Barnabas's complete trust, having been gifted full command of the Royal Order of Knights despite his apparent youth. The capacity in, in which he evacuated Hugo Kupka from Roslev Castle, however, remains a mystery. Fuck. But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. The what? What of it? A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. Oh, it's gonna be like hyper radiated, isn't it? But then, you are no ordinary man. Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Benedict. Benedict. I'll do it. My love. I'll avenge you. Along now, Hugo. You need only follow the night. Muthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. He calls him Mythos. You may leave everything to me. Your Majesty. Oh, okay.
far. Jeez. Orcs. Did the royalists bring them from ash? Okay, as much as much as I would like to continue, I gotta head off. It's late and I got work in the morning. But thank you for uh, tuning in tonight, everyone. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you've been enjoying the playthrough so far. And yeah, consider clicking buttons for the algorithm if you want to support the channel here, or maybe two other videos have popped up on the screen and you want to watch me play something else? I don't know. <laughs> Until next time.